Elizabeth from Austin Underground. I'm here with Jeremy from Touche Amore. If someone who's not familiar with you guys, how would you um, describe yourselves? Uh, I could just say we're like a melodic punk band. You know, I feel like if you just if you just tell someone you're a punk band, you kind of you get the easy way out. So I'll just say we're a melodic punk band. Aren't you a little bit more hardcore though? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess yeah. <laughs> that works too. I could say a melodic hardcore band show. Sure. That's how did Touche Amore come together? And where did the name come from, Lisa? The band started in uh, 2008, like at the beginning of 2008. Um, just basically wanted to start something, uh, a kind of band that really wasn't going on in LA at all, sort of like a uh, old screamo-influenced hardcore band. And um, so I got a bunch of friends together, and we uh, we started it. And the name I had had for a really long time, um, something that I uh, had always just had in the back of my mind. So um, when the band started, it just kind of all came together. Um, has it changed in any way since you first started in 08 till now? We've gone through a, lo uh, we've gone through a lot of member changes. We've uh, from, then, from then till now we have uh, a new drummer and um, a new bass player. And our old bass player now plays guitar. It's confusing. Um, but uh, you know other than that we just kind of you know, found our groove and what we what we were doing as a, as a band and writing music and stuff. So most of our stuff, for the most part, is just really is just whatever's going on in my life, like personal stuff. But um, if but if there's a topic that comes up that I feel like important about, um, like we have a song on our first record about uh, gay marriage. You know, um, we're obviously very pro gay marriage, so we have a song about that. Um, on our demo, we have a song about the Westboro Baptist Church. You know. So, you, but usually it's just like more personal songs than anything. Now we feel stronger than we ever were, and and uh, we know we feel like we're on our path now. Yeah, what path would that be? Uh, just I mean, musically, like like we I feel like we found ourselves, especially with this last record that we just put out. So, as soon as the band started uh, actually touring, we were gone. We were gone pretty much all year. Like we've. We've been a band now for, for a little over three years and we've played over 400 shows. So we're like always on tour one way or another. So being on tour so much really helped us kind of grow as a band and, and uh, just all together, I would say. Uh, we just went, we just got back from Europe a couple months ago. Um, we went over there with a lot of spute and um, the shows were great. Um, all of them were pretty packed. We had, a, every, both bands had awesome reactions like it was, it was really overwhelming. It was awesome. Can you tell me about the process of making your last album and how did y'all get it together? When we had got home from touring so much, we were excited to like write new songs so we could play new stuff because we'd been playing the same songs for so long. So, uh, yeah, we, we sat down and started writing and um, got it done. We wrote the record in about a month and a half and then we went and recorded it in Kansas uh, with a guy named Ed Rose that we're all big fans of. Um, and uh, recorded it in about five days. And, five uh, days. Yeah. Whoa. And uh, yeah, we're we're really happy with it. We're really proud of it. Um, yeah. You play punk music, but did you grow up listening to anything else? I was like a big metal kid. I love metal. Um, I like my my junior high days. Well, in junior high, you're allowed to get away with a lot of different things. I feel like in junior high, you could like wear a Dead Kennedy shirt one day. And then a Metallica shirt the next day, and no one's gonna give you like any weird vibes. But that changes once you get older. But um, there's a lot of hardcore bands that try to branch out and get into the metal world. And if there's one thing the metal world can do, uh, is that they can call BS on hardcore bands very quickly. Like if a band tries to branch out into the metal world, it's a lot harder. But hardcore kids and punk kids can like a metal band a lot easier than a metal kid will like a hardcore or punk band. I, like in high school, like I loved, I found hardcore through metal almost. Like I got into the heavier bands, uh, like Earth Crisis and, and Vision of Disorder and, and Snapcase and, and bands like that um, through metal. Like they would end up on the same bills and things like that. Um, but I used to listen to like, I still like, I still, I still love Sepultura and Fear Factory and Metallica and, and all that stuff. Slayer. Well, I'm excited to see here. Oh. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that. It, it sort of started there and, and you know came came to here, I guess.